In this video, you will see the latest Toronto Blue Jays news, trades, targets and rumors today. Let's go! Shoei Cited Speculation soars around Blue Jays At the MLB winter meetings, Atkins made a grand entrance amidst fervent speculations about Shoei Otani. The day before this eventful moment, he had joined a cryptic Zoom call from an undisclosed location with no hints of baseball's biggest enigma visible behind him, just a plain white wall. Everybody has me in four different places, it's so funny, on MLB Network Radio, Atkins stated. The best was the text messages I was getting from other GMs. Everybody is speculating and guessing. Ken Rosenthal broke the news that the Blue Jays supposedly held discussions with Otani and his associates at their high-profile revamped spring training facility in Dunedin, Florida. While both Otani's negotiations and enigmatic persona have been shrouded in secrecy thus far, fresh developments are starting to emerge. As a precursor to bursting, the dam will exhibit a steady drip, drip, drip pattern. The Blue Jays are among the top contenders vying for Otani who is soon to become a player worth over $500 million and capable of altering a team's course with his signature. A trip to Toronto's player development complex hints at their serious interest in securing him, elevating them into an elite group of frontrunners, including the Dodgers and other competitors. Although Atkins is keeping his cards incredibly close to his chest, potentially causing a rib to break, he did not hesitate when it came time to share the sales pitch. If you just talk about the city of Toronto, that it represents a nation, that we now have the best resources as it relates to getting players better with our facility in Dunedin in 2024, and, our player-focused facilities that will be in Rogers Centre, Atkins said. They will be, in our opinion, one of one. Atkins directed his comments on Tuesday towards Shohei Otani, in the event that these facilities are unique. The Blue Jays aim to persuade Otani with more than just an attractive contract, they emphasized the quality of their facilities and the potential for sustained competitiveness. Although Otani may request opt-out clauses in his expected decade-long agreement, he is unlikely to join a team undergoing rebuilding efforts as one of baseball's most prominent players. We have the ability to acquire players at every level, Atkins continued, to maximize spending on amateur and international, to be able to trade for players, to be able to go after high-caliber free agents like George Springer, Hyun Jin Ryu, Kevin Gaussman, and Chris Bassett. That's an exciting and easy thing to sell. It's not something that we're looking to overcome, it's something we're celebrating. The report of Otani being in Dunedin indicates that the negotiations are advancing toward a finalization. The Blue Jays and other clubs involved have put their alternate plans on hold, waiting for Otani's decision but also ready to pivot if he decides otherwise. Up until that point, you're gazing at a series of days with the possibility of becoming either some of the most significant in this establishment's past or one of its most devastating disappointments. Could the Blue Jays land Otani? Baseball's brightest star is Shohei Otani, who possesses the dual abilities of Kevin Gaussman-like pitching and a 2021 Vladimir Guerrero Jr.-esque batting prowess. His impending contract deal is set to alter the trajectory of a franchise's legacy, leaving you astonished. Sources from ESPN and Jeff Passan, subscription mandatory, reveal that besides Dodgers, Cubs, Angels, and possibly Giants, Blue Jays are among those teams who continue their pursuit of Otani. The spotlight is on Otani as the MLB winter meetings commence in Nashville, and for Blue Jays enthusiasts, attention remains solely fixed on the decision. To stay informed, here are some essential details. What is important and what isn't? The financial aspect holds importance, along with the particulars of the contract. Although geography, personal connections, and championship possibilities have an impact on mega deals, money remains the primary driving force. In this case, with a deal projected to exceed Mike Trout's current record-breaking contract of over $500 million total value in baseball history, it will require the Blue Jays to enter into uncharted territory when it comes to spending. What's advantageous for Toronto? Their wealth. Thanks to Rogers' ownership, the Blue Jays possess an exceptional financial advantage despite any complexities that may arise compared to a single owner or group of investors. Recent acquisitions such as Hyun Jin Ryu, George Springer, Gaussman, Jose Barrios, and Chris Bassett further reinforce this fact. It is now evident that the Blue Jays have earned their place at the elite gambling table rather than being labeled as just another newcomer in town. Of course, the extras cannot be completely ignored. Otani is entering a fresh market in Canada that presents off-field potential and an opportunity to gain new fans. As someone from Canada observing this situation, it certainly seems appealing. 
However, one must question if this national population of 40 million, equivalent to California's size, truly impacts Otani's decision-making process. What unique prospects are available here that he wouldn't find elsewhere? Although Otani attended the same high school, Hanamaki Higashi, as UCI Kikuchi, who was a number four starter at a different time, it's questionable whether this familiarity could be considered sufficient to influence a deal worth half a billion dollars. Ultimately, such an assumption may be unfounded and therefore difficult to justify. Although many additional factors can serve as tiebreakers, ultimately it comes down to the contract. The Blue Jays took an extra step with players like Springer and Ryu by offering an additional year compared to other teams. With Otani, negotiating multiple player opt-outs could be a game-changer despite his anticipated lucrative deal, giving him more bargaining power for future earnings or protecting himself from having to stay on board during rebuilding phases. Such terms could prove critical in any team's quest to make waves within baseball at large. Fit of Otani with the Blue Jays Any team would benefit from having the best player in the world, but Otani's role on the Blue Jays roster will depend on how he fits into their unique structure. After undergoing elbow surgery, Otani is projected to have no limitations as a hitter in 2024 and is anticipated to return as a dual-threat player on the mound in 25 and beyond. No matter where he signs, he will serve as the designated hitter every day during 24 season. In Toronto specifically, this won't require any additional arrangement since Brandon Belt has become an unrestricted free agent, Guerrero can reduce his number of appearances at DH after playing that position for only 34 games last year, while catchers are being managed carefully by Toronto management. It's straightforward to fit Otani into those DH opportunities or even potentially batting second in their lineup configuration if necessary. Otani's comeback in 2025 would coincide effortlessly with Kikuchi, who will be wrapping up his three-year contract. For a single season, Bassett could join Otani in the rotation before Otani teams up with Gaussman and Berrios moving forward. Alec Manoa poses as an enigma while top prospect Ricky Tiedemann embodies the extraordinary potential of this group regardless of future events. Plans for contingencies Should Otani not be considered, anticipate the Blue Jays actively competing for Padre sensation Juan Soto in a bold, win-now maneuver. Despite possessing only one year of team control left, Obtaining an immense contract extension would hinder his ability to become an unrestricted free agent at age 26, though this calculation becomes more feasible after contemplating a staggering half-billion-dollar proposal for Otani. The top free agent hitter, Cody Bellinger, would seamlessly fit into the Blue Jays roster, however, his price tag of $200 million may be a hindrance. Alternatives at third base include Matt Chapman and Jimer Candelario in the next tier while Reese Hoskins remains an intriguing option if the team misses out on bigger names. Is it more probable that the trade market will provide benefits for Toronto if they do not acquire Otani, Soto, or Bellinger? The Blue Jays have been actively assessing prices and getting ready to participate in free agency.